Hey everybody, Paul Humiller here at Dream Guitars and one of my good pals in the guitar world is Mario Beauregard. Mario is just a great guy. We both love to motorcycle, so we always have something in common to talk about when we get to see each other at guitar shows and stuff. And of course, I love his guitars. Um, he came out of the Samaji School. He's one of the guys who was there alongside Michi Matsuda and, and that era of builders. I'm learning from the master Irvin, and this guitar is from 1999. It's number 65 in Mario's career. Of course, now he's made many, many more, um, including his amazing facet arch tops and so many. You know, he's just he's a very prolific and amazing luthier with great, great skills and just a nice guy. So hi, Mario. Um, anyway, I really like this guitar. It's an SJ, and being from 1999, I, it's just wide open. You know, you hear me use that phrase a lot, but what it means to me is spruce in particular that's just come of age. You know, you the more you vibrate wood, the particles move. There's things that happen to materials when they're vibrated, and years and years of playing guitars, I mean, just the gassing off of the finish and just the, the resins of the wood coming out, all the things that time does so beautifully to wooden instruments, um, this guitar has it. Um, this is really one of the strongest, loudest, most alive guitars I've heard in a while, um, and I'm really enjoying playing it. So I told Greg he can get it for me for Christmas. So if it's not here, Greg was nice to me. Um, but seriously, it's a beautiful guitar, SJ guitar. I love Mario's shape. It's, of course, very round and elegant. I, I always love his work. He's super clean. Um, all the details, I love his bridge shape. You've got maple for the purfling, so instead of abalone or shell, it's actually maple wood, and that's echoed in the rosette. Beautiful Florentine cutaway. Of course, ebony fingerboard, which is bound and bordered, so you don't see the fret ends. Really elegant, nicely done. A Brazilian rosewood head plate, I believe. And then a very figured golden wood on the back of the headstock. Of course, Godot tuners, mahogany neck, with a beautiful, the joinery here, everything is just so clean. You just need to look at the photos to enjoy it. And of course, Brazilian rosewood. It's really nice Brazilian here. It's got a sort of a deep brown to it with some nice fine black lines in the guitar. Just a really nice piece of wood, very well quartered. And that also does not hurt to tone at all, of course. You know, you've got Brazilian rosewood to put all this warmth and beauty in the base and this nice sheen on the top and the trebles. Um, and then with this open, German, it's a German spruce top that's wide open. It just, you can't beat it. Brazilian and spruce with a number of years on it and you've got good stuff happening, especially in the hands of my buddy Mario Beauregard. So let's give it a listen. Mm -hmm. 